San Antonio, Texas. The Cowboys rode in to retake the fort. For a minute, it looked like this time they'd get the job done. But the bad boys from Sammy Andrews and Rudy Vela had other plans. Jim Sharp was close, but no banana. Cody Custer was even closer, but still no cigar. Kent Richard was lucky to get away alive from the same bull that he'd won Wichita on. Only the pruny from California, 32-year-old Marty Stannard, had brought the right pair of riding boots. 86 points worth of good enough to start the season for the lead. The final score at the Alamo, bad guys six, good guys one. Now on Prime Network across the world, it's time for the bull riding blowout of the bull riders only. Brought to you by Roper Apparel, the greatest looking shirt you've ever worn. And by Tony Lama Boots, maker of the Bull Rider Boot. Howdy, everybody. I'm Bob Tallman, and I want to welcome you to South Dakota. In the state on the license plate, it says famous faces and beautiful places, and that's exactly what it is. We're in Rapid City tonight in Rushmore Coliseum, and we're going to have another sellout crowd on the Bull Riders Only Tour. Now, standing with me is the expert, the guru, the world champion of Bull Riders, Gary LaFue. And I've got a question for you as we start out. We bring the best 30 bull riders every time to one of these events. We've done it 13 or 14 times. And there's guys in here like Tuff Hedeman and Marty Stannard and Jim Sharp that are 90, 92, 94% riders. And they're lucky to qualify at 60 and 70% against these caliber of bulls. What's the deal? Well, well you've got to take into consideration it takes good stock to put on a good bull riding. And we have taken the best bulls from seven different contractors for the competition here. Some of the bulls we've seen in Denver, some we've only heard about. But from what I've seen, the final round is either going to be like San Antonio, where six out of the seven bucked off, or like Wichita, where it took 90 to place. Well, welcome to Prime Network, and we're going to give you the most exciting show you've ever seen. Stay with us for bull riding action from Rapid City, South Dakota, right after this. Bill Riddle, cutting horse trainer. Training cutters. It takes a lot of patience. It takes communication. It takes a certain spirit. Capture the spirit in Roper shirts and jeans. Roper, for the way you live. It's not easy being a truck. Like a rock. I was strong as I could be. Like a rock. Nothing ever got to me. But through it all, Chevy Full Size has the best resale value in the business. Chevy trucks. Like a rock. The trucks you can depend on. The trucks that last. Don't settle for an imitation that will melt away when the heat is on. Wear the choice of champions. No matter how hot the action gets, award design is there. When it comes to quality and beauty, there is no other. Award design medals. The official trophy buckle of the Professional Rodeo Cowboys Association. Imagine sitting on the back of a ton of dynamite waiting to explode at the sound of a buzzer. Saturday, May 9th at McNichols Sports Arena. Bull Riders Only presents a spectacular bull riding blowout. This ain't no mama's boys picnic. This is the wildest, roughest sport in America. The best bull riders hanging on to a nostril flaring, hoof flying, fire breathing animal. Hell bent on stomping him into the ground. Saturday, May 9th at 7.30. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Bob Tallman, along with Gary LaFue, and what a first round. 16 of them qualified. <laughs> I, if the first row go around is any indication what these later go arounds are going to be, hang on to your hats because it's going to be wild. Well, they say hang on tight. When we look to the first round high rights, man, I mean Dan Lowry, the old timer, the man from the mountain out of Canada, just said, okay, do your hop skipping and jumping, and I'm going to stay with you. No problem with this. Well, I tell you what, he is uh, he is just getting better with time. What a great bull ride. Well, you can't do anything better than what we've got right here. When you talk about up, down, around, over, and under, they've got them all. 
Tough Hedeman is oh. driving like he should be. He has really come back, getting over that front end again. That is classic Tough Hedeman. He's going to be tough the rest of the rodeo. Irvin Williams at Tulsa Twister was 90 points. He's the high mark ride out of the first round. I mean, he turned smoke to fire and made it look easy, but he had the power in the bull. Well, Irvin's another guy that is overdue to win one of these, and if he ride, keeps riding like he's riding there, it could be his ninth. The little yellow whale and Raymond Wessel. Here's the best of Kansas, and that was fire. Well, Raymond was crippled most of last year, but started out in the top three of the year. He's right back in form this year, so he could be one of the odds on favorites to win this thing also. Now, here's the kid, the new kid on the block. This is Spud Whitman from Kansas. Spud Whitman, that little baby face is sure deceiving, but this kid can ride. Gap open, jump to that rope, ride like the old timers used to. Well, it got him a pair of 88s is what it got him. Now let's look at two. This is Colin Peterson. You talk about a ride and a wreck about to happen. Everything is up and down and around. The second round qualifiers with Joey Asling, Mark Kane, Cody Custer, Mike Gaffney, the G-Man, the world champion, Tuff Edelman, Canadian Glenn Keeley, and Rory Lemmel, Dan Lowry, the other Canadian champion. Colin Peterson, an all-time great Jim Sharp. Marty Stannard, last, our first of the series winner for 10,000 San Antonio. Californians, Art Watson. Of course, 90-point ride. Irvin Williams is in there. Kansas is Raymond Wessel, Spud Whitman, and Billy Zercher. What a second-round set of qualifiers, Gary. I mean, they are good watching. It is going to be the best ever, without a doubt. When we talk about the rules and how this works, talking about a two-judge score system. Each judge watches the bull and the man, a 1 to 25 point split, and that's the way it's going to be as we come up with the 80s, the 90s, and we may get close to 100 by the time we're done. Of course, the total of both judges is the final score. Now, when we talk about how this works, here's the two guys that are responsible for $20,000. Tom Peterson on the left, Marty Melvin on the right, and the Melvin family, of course, very well known in this part of the country for riding bulls and bulldogging, and Tom Peterson as well. But ladies and gentlemen, the bull riders only format for the regular season has the top 30 bull riders competing in the first round. The top 18 qualify if we have that many in the second round. And the final round will have no more than 10 qualifiers going for the $10,000 first place money. That's a bunch of bucks for bull busters in Rapid City, South Dakota, and every market that we'll travel to throughout the year. When we talk about lifesavers, this is a pair to draw to. Dwayne Hargo, he comes from out in California. Lloyd Ketchum lost his glasses for this. He said, I'm on television from Mile City, Montana. They are heroes. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Prime Network, stay with us because coming up is exciting second round competition from Rapid City, South Dakota on Bull Riders Only. All right, everybody, welcome back to the second round. And we are in Rapid City, South Dakota, Rushmore Plaza Civic Center. What a wonderful building. I'll tell you what, Gary LaFue, we have seen and heard and watched it all. Joey Ashley, my Fairfield, Florida Cowboy, first to go, and no, no, Joe. Out, down, and around at the end of the second jump, this big whale just bucked him off. That's not exactly what we had planned for Joey Ashley. Oh, he wanted so bad to stay with this book. Gary, this is not exactly what I had planned for Joey Asley. 
Well, Joey has got a little too far back. He didn't get back to that front end, got into his hand, and uh, nothing but dirt for Joey in this second round. Well, I don't like to see him on the ground that way after the slamming he took in the first round, and here's a kid with a helmet on that doesn't need those kind of slams. Now, when you take that kind of a hit and it knocks the air out of you, it knocks enthusiasm out of you, it's tough to come back, and that might have had something to do after the first round hammer he took. Well, you're right there. It's a, you you got to have the ability to... to Pump yourself back up and give 110 even after you took a beat. Yo, you got to be tough to do this. Well, talk about tough. Here's a guy that the way he got his name is his dad accidentally slammed his thumb in the car door. Tough never even cried. And that's where he got his nickname, Tough. And he can take a slamming and come back and give it all he's got. And when you're talking about giving it all you got, Tough Peterman has made a career of doing just that. Okay, we've talked about how tough Tough really is, and now you have to watch it right here. Tough Edelman, the all-time champion of the second round. Tough looked like the old Tough of old. He was having heck at the first few of the Bull Riders only. In fact, he really hadn't hit yet, but this is the Tough that we know right here. Starting a great Bull Rider, but back on the end of his arm. Oh, no. Well, when the digger blows, he's gone and down, and that's not what he needed to do. Now, in the last two weeks, he has been better than average, but not as hot as he could be. He is not on the best roll at this point of the season, let alone in the Bull Riders only season. I thought he was going to make it here. He got up on his legs this jump right. No, he didn't. Right there, you see he's sliding back. Easy Tough is up, and you see daylight under his legs. But when he doesn't see him sliding back off that rope, that is not Tough Hedeman. Tough Hedeman always gets over that front end, and that is why he's getting bucked off. Too bad for Tough. I guess we'll just have to go back to the drawing board. Well, our next cowboy to go is the third qualified of the top 16 out of the first round from Bakersfield, California. This is Art Watson. He was 78 points in the first round. Well, look at here. Now, you can call them anything you want, but these old bulls have got their own character. And you said a while ago, Gary, that attitude has a lot to do with it. We don't make them bad. They're born bad. You bet. You run in a herd of 40 bulls, and out of there you might get two or three that'll make bucking bulls. And the thing that makes them bucking bulls is attitude. Attitude. Some people got it. Some folks need it adjusted. And Art Watson says, let me adjust this for an 88 or a 90. And he's not the biggest guy of the bunch. You'll see a man here stand 5'10", weigh 155 pounds, ringing wet when he is, when he's in healthy shape. He is a Hollywood stuntman, a part-time picture actor, a Christian cowboy, born and raised in Kern County, California. Arthur, ride you this big red devil. And he's a good one. He's got a good one going. He's working the uh -oh, just like tough. He got the leaning back, never stayed over that front end. And we got some more turf here. Let's watch him as he comes out of here. He's moving over the front end. As the bull comes around, that packs him into the turn. You see that daylight. You always want to see that daylight. But right here as the bull starts speeding up his spin, you'll see no daylight. He starts to sit back, misses that front end. As soon as you get rocked back, out of there you're going to go. you got to keep moving forward. Out of there for three of them out of the best 16. Remember, we're trying to qualify eight for the third and final round for the $10,000 in the other. Now, the other's another 10 grand to get split up in there. As of right now, it's three for the bulls, zip for the cowboys, and we'll try it again. All right, here comes old Puppy. Let's we'll see what we can do for him. He was 88 points in the first round, and that was one of the four high scores from Paradise, Kansas, 20 years old. Kid ride, kid ride. You better stay with this black stage. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, no. I mean, that bull jumped up through his shorts and came back around to sew the label on again. He can buck. That was one of the toughest bulls I have seen in years. Look at this jump when this bull comes up. You talk about a superstar right here. He comes up. That must be six, seven feet off the ground. He slides back in that danger zone, and I mean rips him out of there. He didn't know he was in the danger zone, but I'll tell you what, the paramedics will be trying to put his hips back, connected to his back again. Oh, smart. Well, it's history. Let's put the T on Tulsa, and let's make it a capital T this time. This is Irvin Williams. Now, what we did in the first round with this man was we spanked the scoreboard with 90 points. Let's see if we can do it again for a 27-year-old. Yes, he's got it on his mind here. And he, oh, my goodness, the Bulls here are tough as all. We talked about how much power we can bring in seven bills around here. Make it any tougher than this, even though we wrote 16 in the first round. As of right now, it's 
one out of six in the second round. It's getting hotter the farther we go. I mean, watch this slam dunk coming right here. And I mean, Irvin starts him right, gets over that front end, but what's the move this bull puts on him? He comes up, jerks Irvin back, and really puts the power to him. Well, we're going to put the power to many more before this second round is over in the Rushmore Plaza Civic Center right here in Rapid City, South Dakota. Goodness, what a beautiful country. We'll be back with more of that best in just a minute. No matter what kind of action you're looking for, there's a pair of Tony Lama boots just right for the occasion. Tony Lama, the world's most recognized boot brand. Imagine sitting on the back of a ton of dynamite waiting to explode at the sound of a buzzer. Saturday, May 9th at McNichol Sports Arena. Bull Riders Only presents a spectacular bull riding blowout. This ain't no mama's boys picnic. This is the wildest, roughest sport in America. The best bull riders hanging on to a nostril flaring, hoof flying, fire breathing animal. Hell bent on stomping him into the ground. Saturday, May 9th at 7.30. Award Design Metal, the standard of quality in the industry. Our company has been built on a standard of quality that is reflected in all of our products. Whether a sterling silver hand engraved buckle or a finely detailed sculptured buckle, our artists and craftsmen care about creating only the best, and that makes the difference. Give a gift of distinction. Give an ADM buckle. Look for the ADM signature of excellence at finer Western stores. So far. We're back in business in Rapid City, South Dakota. Tom and the LeFew enjoying the easy side of this, just talking about it. We don't have to ride them. As of right now in the second round, we're not looking so good. It is one Dan Lowry 79-point ride out of the first six that we've had a chance to see. But here comes the San Antonio champion for $10,000, one of the best 15 in the world standings. He's four for four. He's 300 plus on total points. His batting average from California is looking good. Part two, let's ride another one. Yeah, Marty is. Marty's come to ride. Look at that look in his face. If anyone said we're out of bucking bulls, they ought to come to Rapid City. <laughs> When you think about the list, Ike Sankey, Jim and Steve Sutton, Hank Franz and Harry Bull, Pete Burns, the Jordan McLean Rodeo Companies, from all across the Northwest and the Midwest, we brought the power package hamburger. Oh, my God. No. That's not going to happen very often when you can one-jump this champion from California. That's exactly what they did to it. Oh, I don't want to take a look at it again, but I don't like that. Look at the pain on his face. Oh, he, he jerked it. He might have hurt his wrist there. I'll tell you what. I spent all day with this kid on an airplane, and all he did could, could sleep. He came Oh, my Houston. goodness. Stop him right here as he comes up. As oh. he's a little farther up, as he moves up, see, there. he's got tipped into his hand, yes. twisted that wrist. He slid him back out of there. Just got out of time and too much power tonight. Well, he's going to leave tonight in the middle of the night to be in Clovis, California, his hometown tomorrow for a rodeo. So all he can do is try a little bit harder. He's wearing the number one. He's still our hero. Marty Standard, I'm sorry, buddy, but it, it, it just happened. Well, out of the, the best of the Midwest and the Northland, this is Rory Level. He was 71 points in the first round. The crowd wasn't too excited about that, but he's qualified. Can he do it again, Gary? Yeah, well, not tonight, not tonight. Oh, I ran him of a time. That old boy reached a hook and right there said, here, kick me in the belly. I'm going to hook you in the rear, buddy. He drawed a little more bull tonight. That one he had for his first one wasn't as tough. And look at the belly rolls on this bull. Just so long rolling. Oh, right there. Oh, I'm glad those horns have been out and down. You can find out how tough you are when you can run on your hands and knees if you've got 1,800 pounds of suppository coming to hook at you. I'd rather have me Joe Green. I wonder who he lost that first horn on. <laughs> Well, we're out of there, boys. It's not looking good. Seven for eight. The Bulls are in the favor. Now, 
We talked about 18 could qualify for the second round, and 10 could qualify, or at least eight for the third round. If we throw them all off, one ride, let's say, and at this point, Dan Lowry, 79, is the only qualified ride. We will go back into the first round and take them by the point system so that we can have some guys to ride in the third round. Will we? We're going to have to. <laughs> I mean, we're running out of buckaroos here. I would think so that you'd have to do that or he'd better give him all the money. How sharp can it get? Real sharp. White hot. When he's getting ready to stick a knife in this one. This is Jim Sharp. Three times out of four, he's been there when the whistle blows. 92 to 3 percent is what his average is in professional rodeo. 65 to 70 percent at full riders only. Only for the fact that Shaw Sullivan and his crew keep coming up with these killers. And I mean, these are hamburger slashes. Slices and dices. Well, if he's rode 19 out of 20 at the national finals, I predict he's going to come through sooner or later, and I think tonight's part of the night. Good bull ride. Watch Jim Sharp is coming through tonight. Look at the power here. The farther this bull goes and he jumps, and every time he jumps out of there, his body will expand four to five inches. Juice, juice, juice. Oh, and a belly roll trying to roll him into his hand, away from his hand. But Jim Sharp does what he does best. That's get to the front end and ride rank yeah. bulls. A pair of eights is what we come up with. You can double down on those in South Dakota anytime. 88, Jimmy Sharp looking good. Fancy shirt, he is hot tonight. Well, one good thing about it, we're going to have a final go around. Well, at least we've got two to ride off when you talk about the Roper rookie. Yes, we've got a Roper rookie in the making. And another one of our special awards this year is the Roper Rookie of the Year Award, honoring the top rookie based on placings and total money won throughout the season. We say thanks to the Roper folks and Western Apparel folks. They do a marvelous job. Hey, what are you doing on the 9th of May? I want you to be there. You need to be with us at McNichols Coliseum, Denver, Colorado. There's going to be a mansion in Mile High Hospitality. Downtown Denver, check your prime listings. If you can't be in Denver with us, check the prime listings for this network show to play for you again. Billy Zercher, let's put a Z on it. Let's all ride this traffic wheel. Well, come on, Bill. Oh, 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 oh. What a Hey, now, what would the Olympic judging team say for that one? That, that might have been a pair of tens right there. That was a good dive. Nothing else. Oh, blowed him out of there like bad breath. No way we can look at it. Out of 10 right now, we've got two qualified rides. The bull are in the lead at 80%. And let's look at this. Let's look at this when this bull comes up right here, right here on this front end. Right, Bring him up there as he comes up. See how he gets rocked back. He should be up on his legs seeing daylight. That rocks him back, catches that kick, and that throws him right over the front end. Well, I've got six to go yet in the second round, and you better not leave us in Rushmore Coliseum in Rapid City. Hang on as we're going to try to finish the second round with another couple rides. We'll be back.
Welcome back, folks, and it ain't no barbecue. I can promise you that. This is nothing but filet mignon just packaged underneath some old tough hide. I'm talking about the bulls at Bull Riders only. Bob Dalton and Gary Lebeau here with you. This is the G-Man, Michael Gaffney. G's one of the best, but he's crippled right now, so he's really going to have to reach down his whole cart to get him a whistle. But he's going to make it tonight. Bull kind of weakened on him a little bit, yeah, but he's going to take it. That might have saved his bacon right there. No guarantee what he needed to qualify on two to be in there. He is the third man just to qualify now. And that's what he wants to do is get into the third round. This kid doesn't need luck. He's got all the talent in the world. You that bet he does. He is, well, he's running on adrenaline right here. A lot of times you got pain, you get that adrenaline running, you forget all about it, and you just get out there and try to get the whistle, and that is what Michael's doing. Well, Gary's talking about a dislocated shoulder of that riding arm. The folks here may not know exactly what he's going through. Well, we got him qualified on two. We can tape him. We'll tape him. We'll tie him together for the next one. 75 points. We've got an 88 to the lead, 79 for second. And 75, he's third now. 16 qualified. And out of the first 11, only three have written. All right, as we get ready to ride with Raymond Wessel, I've got a shot for you to join us in the mail if you'd like to do it. If you've been to one of our bull riders or you've been watching on Prime and you've got an opinion, we want to know about it. We hope you love it, but you can drop us a card or a letter to Pro Mailbag, P.O. Box 37107, Denver, Colorado, 80237, or give us a call, 1-800-536-BULL. Now, here it is, the best of Kansas, you Raymond Wessel. Raymond has got a bull that a lot of front end, not much kick. He's up to his old form. He's got them injuries behind him, and he's going to get him a whistle and be in that final go around. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hear the digger and then save your life. Get to the fence, Raymond. 27 years old, Cedar Point, Kansas. You can be proud of that. I guarantee you what our... Our floor director, John Bumgardner, is one of his neighbors. He'll be happy to see that boy ride one. You bet. He does a good job of staying up on the front end of this, this bull. This bull has as good a buck off rate as any bull in the business, and Raymond does an excellent job. Look at that daylight under his legs when he gets that front end, almost to the point of getting the down on his head. Right in that sweet spot, that was a great bull ride. Not only great, but look at the points at 89. Kansas goes to the lead ahead of Texas now. Jim Sharp second with an 88. Then we're into 79 and 75. We've got four qualified rides. Well, this is the way it's supposed to be. All right, Cody Custard time. I'll tell you what, we're not too far from Custard, South Dakota, his namesake. But he lives in Wickenburg, Arizona. You gotta take shots to go to Wickenburg. You talk about a tough place to have to live. Jim Bob, his brother's a bronc rider. Let's ride him here, Cody. We're concerned with eight seconds now. About six years time. Jerry, help me, help me. Oh yeah, Cody is riding good. He was 90 points over three times at the Dodge Finals the other day. He is one of the odds on favorite to win this thing the way he's riding. He's a pace setter. He's a pace setter. The rain of the bull, the better this kid rides. If you watch some of our shows from the national finals, many of our prime network shows any place in the world, we've slam dumped him. We've done everything there is to do to him. And you just can't break this kid in half. Watch when his front end comes up right here. Watch, look, see that daylight. Watch there, right there. Boom. See that daylight under his legs, right? Bring him up a little farther, right here. Ooh, a little farther. Stop it right on the top. Come on up. Come on up. Right here. That is the front end. That's where you got to get to ride rank bulls. Okay, with 82 points, that's the way we're going to be. 82 now. That'll throw him in as a fifth man to qualify. You know, at the end of our season, the bull rider with the highest accumulative season point total will receive a check from the Tony Lama Boot Company for $10,000, making that bull rider the Tony Lama Boot Leather Tough Award recipient. Oh, thank you, Frank Scavetti, and thanks to Tony Lama and the great family of boot makers. Well, for 100 years, they've been doing a great job. All right, Atoka, Oklahoma, it's time. It's time that we put the little man on top. 22, if you could just multiply that times four, make 88, that'd be good. Why not be 90? Irvin Williams did it in the first round. 7,000 people here tonight in Rushmore Coliseum watching it on. May I say the guy that designed this building or the people might have been a lady designed this building, did the right thing. There ain't a bad seat in the house any place. Everything's good. The atmosphere is wonderful. The enthusiasm is energetic. It is good stuff.
Now, that's good stuff with Mark Kane. That's his left hand. I don't know how much closer we can get if that old bull had a fly on his back. You can see him right there. 158 points, two out of three. Now, he's coming down there. We look at guys that are back at 250 to 300 or better. They can stay in those 80s. But what we're concerned with here is just getting him to the West. Well, last year, he rode every bull that he got on on the tour. This year, they bucked him off one, but that's uh, that's just like batting, uh, striking out the first time you come up in baseball. He's a winner. He's going to come back. He rode a good bull here. He was 96 points in Long Beach. And he is one of the guys that... It's two out of three for the Bulls right now for the 1992 season. He may be the 1991 champion, but that's the rodeo business. That's the way it is when you ride Bulls. You're alive tonight and dead tomorrow. You're hot today and gone tomorrow. So no guarantees. That's why they're the individualistic champions they are. Well, let's look at him, see what he did wrong here. He comes out, he's got good arches, that bull kicks. He's back over the front end here. He might have cut, no, he moved. Oh, he didn't step on that front end quite long enough. Slid back in that danger zone and talk about a New York flip. Boy. Well, he got away with it alive, Lloyd Ketchum. And of course, we watched the bullfighters with Wayne Hargill. Here's two of the best from Montana and California. Again, our respects have to be paid to Ike Sankey and Jim and Steve Sutton from the Sutton Rodeo Company's Midwest Rodeo Company with son Steve, Hank Franzen and Harry Bull, Pete Burns, Larry Jordan, Ralph McClain. They have brought some kickers in here tonight. <laughs> it's easy to sit here and laugh, and I mean, I raise a few of these Frankfurt Bulls, but we breed them. We breed them to breed, not to buck. And uh, it's so much fun to stand around two or three truckloads of bulls and see them unload them and then go, oh, I wonder who's on the menu tonight. Glenn Keeley says, I'm on the menu to win. Another 22-year-old from Nant, Alberta, Canada. And it's, uh, it's real important that uh, Glenn keeps riding like he did in that first goal round. He gets to sit and wait, and he doesn't ride good. When he comes out of there riding, it's burning. Glenn Keeney can ride any bull in the business, and this is an important place to ride him right here. Well, there's only five qualified out of 16. We've got two to go to get into this. We talked about young Colin Peterson. He's in July in the first round. He won't ride this time. He's up. All right, he's got that outside foot moving. He's making some moves. Yeah. together and I mean efforts that are strong the bull got stronger the farther he went he'd make a mistake then he'd recover he'd make another then he'd go again well the important thing was he got aggressive right away watch here right here watch him kick this outside foot out chunk it at him he's moving and taking the action to him he's just like challenging a good hitter with your fastball you got to go to a rank bull keep moving a rolling stone can correct course and he's a rolling here that was a great bull run Yes, and he earned every stinking one of them. Oh, man, can the kid ride. The degree of difficulty, the style of riding, the enthusiasm of this audience in South Dakota, and it worked. What a way to close your... Well, as the fans in the Rushmore Coliseum are waving at us right now, I want to talk to you about what they are happy about. Caps, jackets, t-shirts, and sweatshirts. That's just part of the Bull Riders Only Apparel line. You can also get home videotapes of every event of the entire performance. Call Bull Riders Only at 1-800-536-BULL. That's 1-800-536-BULL to get your free catalog and more information. Now, as we're ready to talk bull riding, it's Dan Lowry, Rocky Mountain House, Alberta, Canada, Gary. Here's the old man from the mountain to snap him another one. Yeah, right better than he ever has. Getting the front end on this big red bull, doing it the way the Canadian champion ought to do it. Hey, Great I mean, bull ride. not the way to get off. <laughs> when the whistle blows, he said, I'll use two hands, three hands if I got him. Right up on that front end. We talk about the front end over and over again, but you got to get there to get up on them legs. Stay off of that back end because that's danger. And Dan is sliding up, moving to the front end, getting up on his legs and doing it the way it's supposed to be. Well, we're going to stick ride. him with a 79 score. And we're going to be back with more in the final round competition on Bull Riders Only in South Dakota. Don't leave us. It's not easy being a truck. Like a rock. I was strong as I could be. Like a rock. 
Nothing ever got to me. But through it all, Chevy Full Size has the best resale value in the business. Chevy trucks. Like the trucks you can depend on. The trucks that last. Imagine sitting on the back of a ton of dynamite waiting to explode at the sound of a buzzer. Saturday, May 9th at McNichols Sports Arena. Bull Riders Only presents a spectacular bull riding blowout. This ain't no mama's boys picnic. This is the wildest, roughest sport in America. The best bull riders hanging on to a nostril flaring, hoof flying, fire breathing animal. Hell bent on stomping him into the ground. Saturday, May 9th at 7 30. Welcome back, everybody, to Rushmore Plaza Civic Center. Beautiful downtown Rapid City, South Dakota. What a beautiful place. We're in a gorgeous state of famous faces and beautiful places. And here's the way it is. Solid as a rock. Now, round three brings us to what it's all about. The top qualifiers versus the Chevy truck. Solid as a rock, Bulls. Let's look at that lineup with the chopper from the Flying Five. Sonny Ronnie and Johnny Hutzel, they got a good one. That's the way we started off with Dan Oh, my goodness. He's got one started. What a rank boom. Well, that's not exactly how he'd had it planned, as only, only six are going to qualify. We started with 30. We went to 16 and now to six. And the first one out bites the dust, and it's history. Maybe if, we, maybe if we can see that back, we might learn a good lesson here. Let's have a good look at this about the third jump out he starts his bull real good bull really blowing and getting stronger as he goes he got him rocking a little bit there that's from dropping his arm that first round gets back in the middle gets back the front end arch now when he comes up this next round stop right, right there well he's already bucked off he got the main thing well let's look at okay. it again now okay when you get intricate like this we've got to slow it down even more if we can for the fact that he lets the gate loose pulls yeah. him right up out where he belongs and okay. then where's his first mistake okay when he arches now you're supposed to come straight back to the front end now watch where he goes Stop right here. Stop. Stop. Right there. See the way he's dropping his arm, not moving forward. That sets you back on your pockets and gets you rocking back and forth instead of going to and fro. Now watch as he starts on. How do you recover from Well, watch this next jump. He'll rock him into his hand. That's because it gives you give, give leverage when you drop away from your hand. It's hard to pick back up the timing of the bull. You just don't recover on a type of bull like this 90% of the time. See how he rocks him that away? Now he's kind of back off that rope, back towards the flank. That kick shoots him over into his hand. And it is history. All well, that started from leaning away from that hand, that first jump. Dan Lowry, I'm sorry it had to happen that way. And as you talk about it being history, it is. The fans here say one out of six is down. We'll ride the next five. But I don't know what you're going to be doing on the 9th of May to the 16th, the 30th of June 13th. But here's where you need to be. McNichols Arena, Denver, Colorado, the Mile High Mashing. We're going to be there. It's only a few days away. Tacoma, Washington on the 16th of May. Then the 30th on the Memorial Day weekend. Casper, Wyoming, and you're going to love that. St. Louis, Missouri, the 13th of June. That's Juneteenth, and you're going to love it all. It's going to happen all summer long. The 22nd of August, we're going back to Long Beach Arena, 13,000 there just the other day. The Salt Palace in Salt Lake City on the 29th of August. Better join us in beautiful Utah. Minneapolis, Minnesota, September 19th, and Denver, Colorado for the championships on the 3rd of October. That is the schedule. If you're liking it, just remember. If you can't remember, you didn't write it down. Call us at 1-800-1-800-536-BULL. 536 bull 
if you really would like to go Let's go with Jim Sharp. They used to call it Kermit, Texas. Just don't call it late for dinner. Now, here's the 90% average bull rider. He has not been doing well. He is catching up here in Rapid City. Jimmy Sharp, let's try to ride one. Well, we said Jim Sharp is overdue. He's got a big brindle bull that should come into his hand, which is to the left. And that is the direction that Jim is the toughest. If this bull comes into his hand and stays there, I believe that Jim will get the whistle because he's overdue. We know he's good. To that left, that's the direction he wants him to go. This is going to be Jim Sharp's meet. Oh, Sonny Riley and Donnie Hansel from the Flying Five in Washington send us this road. You said meet, and there's a lot of it there. Big bull and big bull ride. The Lord's chosen number seven on his back tonight. Well, we knew he was overdue. Jim Sharp is as tough as there is, especially going this direction. He's tougher going this direction. He is going to the right. He moves up on that front end, gets his shoulder out in front of him, which is really important. Keeps his chin tucked and handles this bull like another day at the office. Well, this office paycheck's going to show up with an 88 score. They're talking about a pair of eights. Now, he has been in there tonight with a 76 and one already 88. Remember, this is the round for $10,000. Is that going to win it for him? Well, let's watch him as he comes out. Now, watch this first jump up. Now, let's try to stop it right up here as he comes. Bring it up a little farther, a little farther. See, there's that front end we're talking about. Get up on that front end. Stay there. Stick your chest out when they kick, and then get back out there. You got, even going into your hand, you got to ride up on your legs coming around the corner. Well, I don't want to say that that 88 score and all of that action isn't enough for you, but we've got four more to go. That's only the first two. Bulls one, Cowboys one, Jim Sharp in the lead. There'll be more exciting bull riding action coming your way on Bull Riders Only from Rapid City, South Dakota. Welcome back, everybody, to Rapid City, South Dakota. Raven Wessel's the man. They're ready for him. Our house announcer, Wayne Wise, from Loveland, Colorado, doing an excellent job here tonight. He's got him on the edge of their seats. Big Jason jerks that gate. This Kansas kicker better be ready to kick one. Yes, he's got one of the premier bulls this go around, but he's away from Raymond's hand, and that's his weak direction. Where that bull went into Jim's hand, this is the direction that doesn't fit Raymond as good as it does. Gary, 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 you've talked about a million things here tonight when you said away from his hand. Let's look at it again. There's a little bull mug for you from my happy camper. Look at that bull. Boy, you can you talk about looking at eyes. And you can see that bull come. Means business. He means cows if he could get near some. Okay, watch Raymond as he comes out of there. He sticks that chest out. He moves over the front end, but this bull comes hard to that left. You got to keep your free hand out in front of you. And now watch as this bull comes around right here. Stop it right there. He is what we call out of square. His, his free arm is a little too far out. That's going to tip him into his hand. Now into your hand, away from your hand, up and down, inside out. How in the world do you keep track of it all? Well, the main thing is, is if they're riding towards the hand you ride with, that's into your hand. Here it's away. You can see when he gets out of square, that slides him back on the hips, and you catch that kick, and there's a lot of power in 1,800-pound bull's kick. That's what keeps me, keeps me want to talk about it on Prime Network and play golf or tennis. Not have to go back and try this again. It's a young man's sport, folks. No other way to look at it. All right, Cody, Cody, Cody. Now, what did he say? He'd had this bull four times. This is going to be the fifth shot. They call him the Skulls Terminator. 
This kid's back pretty good. Four out of five and 313 on the total points. Can, can be a spinner or real bucky. Let's talk about those two adjectives. Well, uh, this boy just, he just wants to buck. Sometimes he'll spin, but even if he doesn't, he's going to jump high. A lot of drop, a lot of hard kick. Can be just as hard to ride whether he spins or not. I like the way you say that. There's too many ifs in this business, but Cody knows that if he's already rode the bull four times, Shaw Sullivan, our producer, asked him about this. Is it going to be an advantage? And I think the honest and best answer that he could have said was, I've still got to ride this bull. Of course, well, it's going to be a great challenge. Well, that's right. And, uh, you know, that there's some, just like baseball, there's some pitchers that fit certain hitters. This bull really fits uh, Cody. Well, Look at them. They're doing the wave they out there. They are doing the wave in here tonight. You're not supposed to do things like that in South Dakota. These people are a little more conservative than that. It's an election year, though. They're going to come alive. They're having some fun with it. What a crowd. What, what a crowd in Wounded City. Rapid City says thank you very much. Hey, I'll tell you what. All you've got to do is show up at Denver Nichols Arena, the Mile High City, on the 9th of May. We gave you the schedule a minute ago. You can do the wave with anything you want, any place in the world. Show the pro and be there. There's not a more exciting event in the world. Uh, I've seen it all in the last 20 years, and this is it. If you're pumped and ready, you can ride with us at 1 800 536 Bull, and Cody Custer's ready to ride on the other. Well, this bull fits him, but like Cody says, you never know. Any given day, it can be the bull's day. Well, at the fifth turn, the fifth turn is going to get him down. He's rode him four times tonight. The bull's going to get even. And remember, you can ride one. It doesn't hurt them a bit, but when they get a chance to slam your body in the ground and fold you up, that's exactly what they'll do. Let's see if we can figure out what bucks him off. Right here when this bull comes up this front end right here, stop it right there. He's got the daylight. He's up there where he needs to be. Bring him on up to a kick. The bull kicks. He sticks his chest out. Let's see if he gets back to that front end here. Stop him. Bring him slow. Bring him up. He's still there. Oops, he sits down a little quick. Right there, hold it, right there. Now, it's real important when a bull is coming up, you gotta stay there until he starts down and then sit up and stick your chest out. He let the, he come back, he sat down a little too quick. That slid him back, he got back in that danger zone. And you see, see all the whip, all the kick in the world back there. No way to recover. As you have a chance to watch golf, you watch football, baseball, basketball, you can watch hockey, you can watch race car driving. I'd like to compliment our camera crew at giving you an opportunity to get this close, but Gary LeFue with an excellent job as our expert. He's the guru of the bunch. The final round competition's gonna continue. I've got three down and one with a ride. Jim Sharp's the man with an 88. Glenn Keeley and Michael Gaffney, the G-man, are yet to try it. We are in Rapid City, South Dakota on the Prime Network, and we'll be back with more. And the two that still have a shot at winning the $10,000 at the Bull Riders only. Welcome back to Rapid City, everybody. Bob Tolman here with the champion, Gary LeFew. And he's not just a color man, he is our expert. Rapid City, South Dakota has provided us some entertainment tonight on the Prime Network. It's unbelievable. Dan Lowry, the Canadian champion, is now. Jim Sharp's 88. Raymond Wilson from Kansas is out of here. 
Tony Custer a moment ago just went down. Now to Glenn Keeley and Michael Gaffney. This is Glenn Keeley, 22 years old, one of a pair of bull Ride brothers, and uh, he's got the bull called High Plains. They call him Wicked Corner, Little Rose. Any way you look at it, a bad dude. And he said when they made the draw, he knows nothing about the bull. He's going to ride him jump for jump. Boy, well, that's easy to say. <laughs> well, the thing that Glenn has started tonight, he's got back to throwing them feet at him. He's getting aggressive. If he takes it to the bull like he did the last two, he can make that wicked corner and handle that ball. But if he gets caught sitting for one jump, look at like playing a brand new golf course on a rainy day with one eye bad. And the crowds are stopping their feet. They're ready to help him ride. Canadians, let's see if that is. Oh my goodness, look at him oh. dragging him. Hung his spur in the wow. rope, and the rope didn't come loose. Again, Dwayne Hargo, Pet Boy Ketchum have done a marvelous job. There's Hargo to the left, right there. Mountain California. Miles City, Montana for Lloyd Ketchum. Two great bullfighters. Well, as of right now, I'm going to be four to one. The G-Man, remember what happened about a year ago. Okay, let's look at this ride back again. Now, remember, remember that we said if he kicks that outside foot loose and this bull comes around, he's going to be all right. But you don't see that foot move. That gets him sitting still, tips him, and out of there he goes. Whenever you kick that outside foot loose, it has a tendency to move you over into the turn. And that is his style of ride. I knew if he didn't get it going, out of there. Well, we're talking about high scores. Everybody wants to have one. Everybody just wants to get him a score. But ladies and gentlemen, when we talk about high scores, the name of the game for our bull riders. So Tony Lama, the Tony Lama Boot Company, is recognizing that fact. And they've set up a special progressive bonus. Listen to this, for $1,000 added per event. That's not for the year, that's per event. Now, this bonus is awarded to the rider that scores higher than 96 points. And since we didn't break that mark in San Antonio, our bonus this week is $2,000. Next week in Denver, it'll be $3,000 if we don't knock off the current mark. Somebody's got to break the bank for Tony Lama boots and get the money. It can be $2,000 for Michael Gaffney. If he lives in Lubbock, Texas, that's not too far from El Paso, out West Texas. Get that Tony Lama money, g -Man. G-Man has the bull here that to, to draw to be, beat that 96. Well, if he can do it here tonight, he can do it again on the 9th of May. There it is, McNichol Sports Arena. What a wonderful coliseum. The Mile High City of Denver is one of the greatest sporting cities in all of North America. Check Prime Network listings for an air date. If you're watching it here tonight, keep, keep track of those dates and then just check your listings. We want to have you live with us, so come and join us someplace, but don't wait for your tickets. We have this problem at McNichols that turned away 900 the last time. G-Man, Gaffney, Texas. Put a T in it someplace. Put the money in the bank, 10000 He's done it before. We started with this kid a year ago at Long Beach, California. We were bragging on him. But now, can he do it? He's he has got the toughest bull at the rodeo here. He's crippled. He's got to get big down in his hole and make G-Man right. Look at him. Look at him. For a kid with a dislocated shoulder, he's run three of the greatest <laughs> bulls you're going to watch here tonight. That is hard. That is hard. 73 and a 75, two saving scores. He said, I'm not going back out there with him. I just kicked that bull in the belly, and he's one to want to get even. You could tell he was hurting, but he was. Well, there's Tough Hennepin and Marty Standard, two guys that didn't make the final round to congratulate him. That's a camaraderie in this industry. Look at it again, Gary. Okay, watch him. You can see the grimace on his face. He's hurting, but when that front end comes up, nobody gets over the front end like Michael Gaffney. Gets a little out of square, toughs it out, gets back up on his oh. legs, sticks that chest out, and I mean, this is talk about heart and try and ability. That is one great bull ride, and if. If we get a score, it just might be the score of the night. Well, they're talking 94 points. Oh, 94. 94 points. The high mark crowd of the night. We had a 92 for Glenn Kelly in the second round. Gaffney said 10,000 more dollars. Here's a kid that knows how to go to the bank with it. Let's look at it one more time. I mean, this is the way it ought to be. Oh, I want to look at that again. When you got a guy crippled, look at the way he comes out of there. Look at the grimace on his face. He is hurting, Bob. He's hurting. Oh, you bet he is. But look, stop right there. Stop right there. Look at the way. Not anything behind that rope. Everything is over the hump, up on the legs. Well, it's take, nice. her take her back to right here when he kicks. Oh. He gets a little out of square. He has to reach back up, get back up on the legs. I mean, that shoulder is wanting to come out, so he knows that he's got to get back up. Right there, stop, stop. 
that is the way you're supposed to ride bulls. Yes. Stick that shoulder out, get up on your legs, get over that front end, and then you've got to meet the kick with an arch and get right back up there. When you see daylight right under the hole, right there, look at that daylight under his legs. That is just like a jumping horse rider going over a seven-foot jump. Well, Gary LaFew, I've never heard it put any better, and we're going to be back with our winners in the Bull Riders Only Series from here in Rapid City, South Dakota, Rushmore Plaza in just a minute. That's the way it is with a 94. Only a pair out of the six made it. We're going to introduce you to the G-Man in just a minute. Ron and Preacher, real cowboys. Cattle ranching. It takes devotion. It takes stamina. It takes a certain spirit. Capture the spirit in Roper shirts. Roper for the way you live. what kind of action you're looking for, there's a pair of Tony Lama boots just right for the occasion. Tony Lama, the world's most recognized boot brand. Imagine sitting on the back of a ton of dynamite waiting to explode at the sound of a buzzer. Saturday, May 9th at McNichol Sports Arena. Bull Riders Only presents a spectacular bull riding blowout. This ain't no mama's boys picnic. This is the wildest, roughest sport in America. The best bull riders hanging on to a nostril flaring, hoof flying, fire breathing animal. Hell bent on stomping him into the ground. Saturday, May 9th at 7.30. Well, bull riding fans, I don't know what else we can do to make you any more excited than that. When you watch two of the greatest of the six, when you watch all of the 30, the youngsters from Rapid City, Gary, it's a phenomenal bull ride in Rushmore Coliseum tonight. Well, we said coming in that this was going to be the best set of bulls we've ever put together, and they far surpassed anything that I even thought we'd get in. The greatest bull riding, oh, man, it's, it ain't going to get any better than this. Let's meet the champion right now. Let's go down to the arena floor with our promoter, Shaw Sullivan, and the G-man, Michael Gaffney. With the G-man, we've got the roper ride of the night. Michael, looked like he surprised you a little bit out there. I sure did, Shaw. He uh, left the box really strong. You know, he leaves there with his head down, and he's just kind of hoping for the best. After that first couple jumps, I was expecting him to go into my hand and, and kind of have a, a heyday on him, but uh, he turned back away from my hand, and I kind of had to loosen up and just kind of bear down. So I take it last time he got, you got on him that he went into your office. Oh, yeah, he did. There in Mitchell, South Dakota earlier this summer. And uh, he uh, turned back into my hand, and, and I had pretty good time with him. He just fit me good, and uh, he's just a good bucking bull. As you watch the ride, will you describe what's going on? Uh, as soon as he turned back to the left, I kind of I I felt a little loose, but uh, he just, he, he's got enough kick to, to help a guy out. And uh, that's what you want. You don't want something that's really flat that's going to sling you out of there. A lot of, you saw that a lot tonight, you know. But uh, he had enough kick to, to help me get my butt where it needed to be, and, uh, and I was tickled about that. Michael Gaffney, our first repeat winner at the Bull Riders Only Series. Back to you, Gary and Bob. Well, thank you, Sean. Michael Gaffney, congratulations. As we have to say to 29 other guys, sorry that it didn't work. But one man gets a 10,000. They split the other 10,000 up very well. The caliber of contestant when you talk about today's rodeo athlete, this Bull Riders Only series, I say, is probably putting another 50% try in them. Not just the money, but the glory. Well, you know every time you get mounted at one of these, you're going to get on one of the best bulls in the world. And that makes you dig down within your, kind of dig your old hole card and, and give her all you got. Well, when we talk about the wreck of the night, somebody has to have one. And Mark Kane, our cowboy from Atoka, Oklahoma, is exactly...